Hello there and welcome to this Bicon tutorial, where the topic in question is how do I get a good APOS to boot from? Now the Vicon development team introduced a number of improvements to Shogun 1.7. These include enhanced control through higher levels of precision and greater flexibility in marker placement, the latter of which is targeted very much towards scenarios where a non-standard marker placement is required. But critical to maximising the benefits of these improvements is a good APOS. Now let's start with a look at a typical live subject calibration scenario in Shogun Live. Upon creating a subject, Shogun analyzes the performer's pose and compares it with its own templates, assigning the most appropriate labels based on location and proximity. This works great in principle, but it's important to remember that we are all unique individuals and as such, each hold our poses slightly differently. The footage on screen now showcases some behind the scenes testing we did, demonstrating how people can stand differently to one another. To better accommodate a wide range of performers and stances, Shogun 1.7 introduces the APOS Joint Range Threshold. This essentially gives you the ability to determine how accurately the performer's pose needs to match up with Shogun's templates. The slider controlling this is available in the tracking panel under Advanced. Now let's take a look at a scenario where this sort of control might be necessary. In the example seen on screen now, the subject is in an A pose, but has been rejected from the calibration. If we check the report on the top right hand side of the viewport, we can see that many markers are missing. Now our first consideration should be whether the template is correct before changing any other variables such as our A pose joint threshold. So we change the template and although all the markers have been found this time, the log is still reporting issues with limb poses. At this point, we should first advise our performer to adapt their stance. In this case, that involves straightening their feet. In other scenarios, the performer might need to also point their hands towards the floor and hold their arms in a more accurate 45 degree position. Quite often, these adjustments are enough to result in a subject that's accepted, but we all know what it's like working in motion capture it can be tiring. As a result, it's not unexpected or unreasonable for your performer to sometimes struggle getting the perfect pose at the end of a long day. That's the case that we see on screen right now. We try to calibrate, but are unsuccessful. So we cancel that and increase our A pose joint range threshold to 1.75. No other changes have been made, but now subject calibration is a success. So now that you've seen how effective this tool can be, you might be tempted to just set it to as high a value as possible, but we strongly advise against doing this, as it could lead to performance and accuracy issues across the remainder of your shoot. This is a useful tool for very specific scenarios, but we would always suggest that it comes after some of the other amendments we've made throughout this tutorial, like selecting the appropriate template and encouraging your performer to adopt the correct stance. Thank you for watching this video, be sure to check out our other tutorials for Shogun 1.7 and as always, if you have any queries or feedback, we'd love to hear from you. Thanks again.